Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Floris, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Now let's take a look here. We are making our way to Agelian Castle to see if we can throw ladders up. We've been taking castles back from the Rodox. I figure it's only a matter of time before they come and attempt to stop us. Nine hours here, that'll give me enough time to rest up. Uxel has been besieged, so we'll probably go back and look to defend after we take this castle. But yeah, this is our time now, we're going to take what we can. Get in position, lads. Stay alive, squadron. Stay alive. Archers get set up. Suppress them. I want my archers to follow me. And my archers, I want them set up here. Do it. I'm probably going to go down soon. Clearing them out. Shields up, shields up, shields up. And the castle has fallen. That went by pretty quick. We lost a few people, which was unfortunate. 17 killed. That's never a good number. I don't want that. So then. With that taken, we could do with going back to Uxel. It's under siege, as I said. We're going to have to stop the enemy if we can. Easier said than done. Military campaign? No. Vine cord, yeah, they're splitting up now to siege what they can. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So we have the Kurgic Canate taking Oxal back. Do I stop them? Because the way I see it, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to have to take this territory back from them. But if I start taking my time to try and defend against... I mean, if I've got to try and defend against both factions at the moment, it's not going to work. I'm better off to let the Kurgic Kenate take it, let them amass every bit of land, and then we'll just go around and take it all back once we're done. Because that shouldn't be too difficult. But what we don't want is the Rodox to gain any more territory, so if we can put a stop to that, then all the better. Two of them here. I'd rather face them in the castle. I could... Oh, bugger. We'll wait here, heal up. 
They're all passing by, they're probably going to go to the other place. If these guys want to fight though, we'll give them a fight. A Gellion has been besieged. It's only a matter of time, come on. Oh. oh. Just saw their troops too late. Alright. Join the battle. Let's see what we can do. We've got 150 troops. Come on, hold this position. Bottleneck him, bo bottleneck him, come on. Oh, I didn't see him, I didn't see him. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if this will work. Come on archers, come on archers, do your thing, there we go, we've got barons now, we're blocking away, we're going to bottleneck them here, we're going to bottleneck them here. This is where we turn it around, this was my strategy. drawn away they got archers and crossbowmen which ain't good I wish my archers were doing more the only thing I can hope is that the enemy eventually runs out of quality troops whereas I won't quality troops for the entire battle and I'm hoping that will edge us out of the win. We've already taken quite heavy casualties and no one's killing these archers that's not good. They're free to attack my troops. No they're still attacking. Come on just land a hit. Land a hit eh? Say yes, we got more archers coming. Maybe, maybe not. See, we're getting worn down here. It's these crossbowmen. Nothing we can do till one of these lot get far enough out. There we go, archers. Come on, come on, archers. Come on, look at close at though. Come on, there we go, there we go. There we go. Damn, we're slowly getting picked off. These archers, they're doing what we do normally.
I have to wonder. I, I guess I'm going to need more archers because this simply isn't enough. This bottleneck is working quite well. I was going to bottleneck him on top of the ladder, but that just didn't work. But this, however, this is the way to go. Next time I'd probably put my troops maybe around the corner if I could. Just keep them away from the archers. I mean, the enemy's just gonna... But where are the enemy? Oh, they're out there using the crossbows trying to hit my archers. That's crazy. What kind of view do these guys have? Pretty good one, to be honest. Oh, we're a bit far away. Doesn't feel it when, you know, you order them to go somewhere. But look at it. The quality of their troops have gone down. So we should be able to just slaughter him. But we could eventually run out of reinforcements, that's what I'm worried about. But if we can defend this and then go and defend a Gillian that we just took, then we can continue taking. Maybe go reinforce my troops and then go attack more folk. So what we got, we got more more infantry, okay. I really would like some cavalry, but, I mean archers, but what can you do? The archers are still scoring hits every now and then, which is good. Perfect, look at that. Uh, see, originally I was very worried that we were going to lose this and I'd lose all my troops, but no, we seem to be holding. That last minute setup seemed to have paid off. That's it. Keep it up. They'll run out of troops eventually. And what I'll do is I'll let them go because... I want to get my reputation up as high as I can because you've seen that we've had Nords join us and they're still joining us and what I plan to do with that is for us to have a bigger army when we fight the Kyrgyz Khanate because they have a massive army a lot of Lords and we've got a lot of territory we're gonna to have to capture but I'm not too worried about that mostly because I'll be able to blitz the majority of their territory it's over towards our side so they're going to have to travel far out of their way to come and take it back, at which point I'll swap round, delve into their territory and start capping. So their response times are going to be very slow. At least that's my plan, you know? Whether or not the plan will go as well as I'd have hoped, who knows? Come on, any archers on him? There we go. This guy must have that plot armor that Jon Snow had. Or not. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I think we can wear them down. The only reason it's taking so long is because they got to climb this bloody ladder. But yeah, it's going well. It's going very well, in fact. I like this. Although every now and then we'll lose someone, which isn't good. 
not good at all. I can't help but notice their archers are moving now. How odd. All the archers they had up on that hill have decided to move. Did they run out of bolts or are they just... Is this their last, last ditch attack? We'll find out. I'm surprised my archers still have arrows to spare. That is quite surprising. Unless defenders have more perhaps? Does not matter. And they can't even like rush us with numbers, they come one at a well, a couple at a time, which is enough for my troops to overwhelm them, of course. No, they still got more people coming. But that's fine, let's take out as many as we can. Let's get rid of them. The fact that we've managed to hold this is quite pleasing to me because I was certain that we were we messed up. I didn't see their reinforcements when they attacked, so this is good. This is good news. I'm glad I haven't given up, so. But look at my numbers though. That is dropping and I haven't seen any more reinforcement waves unless it just requires a couple more people to go down before we get them. So now it is starting to become a little bit worrying that we may be overwhelmed in the end unless we put an end to their reinforcements. We'll see. You see this guy here? Rank 6 Serenade with this mallet that he's just swinging around. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice him. Come on, are they getting reinforcements? Where are your reinforcements? Come on, let's see them. No. I've got... Oh no, okay, we both got reinforcements. Damn it. Still no new archers yet. But look how many reinforcements I got though. This could be my last slot. That is not good. And if I back out of this fight, I may not have another chance and we may lose. So I've got to hope we can finish off whoever's left. Come on, archers. They got no shields. It's like all these people in the missing, it's crazy. Slave Crusher was killed. What I should have done is have my archers about here, further down the hill. That would have been a lot more efficient. But at least I know now. At least I know. Oh no, don't die. I can't afford deaths now. I still got rank 7 in the mix. I've got a lo lot of low ranks, got rank 6. Slave crushers. But I don't see reinforcements, so this must be it. We both reached the end of our reinforcements. Incredible. We made it to the end. So what's going to happen with these lads? Are my archers on them? Did we finally run out of arrows? Oh no, arrows are still coming. I wonder if we get more arrows as defenders. I wonder if that's just how it works. The shield's going to break soon. I'll probably end this, but I just want to see I want to see this guy die. Just too far away. There we go, his shield's gone. He's like, oh, screw this, I'm out of here. Run, run, run. see this guy. Oh, they can. They're still firing. 
I wonder if they'll ever hit him. One guy left, come on. I wonder if the arrow is going to get caught on this invisible wall. Some of them are making it over, just need to be more on target. Come on archers, one guy left and you can win this for us. I don't want to end the fight with just one guy left on the enemy side. Come on. The arrows are so close. Look at him. Look at him whizzing by him. Maybe it's because he's on the ladder and this bit here. It looks like this bit is like blocking the arrows from hitting him. Just If one can just land a perfect headshot just right on top of his head. That would do it. That was close. Come on, I know one of you can. They must have just unlimited arrows when you're a defender. That's the only explanation I can think of. Because these guys should have gone through their 30 arrows by now. Which is actually amazing to know. Because if you put archers in a better position, they can literally decimate the enemy. Look at them. Look how many arrows they're firing. Alright, I'm going to end it. They're not going to hit him. I think we won. Okay, let's wait here for a minute. Oh, they still got some numbers. Oh my god. 37 versus 37. Thirty-seven troops versus thirty-seven. Okay. Same deal. Same deal. Same deal. This time. Oh no, that one guy. Archers, let's see how much better you are when you're a bit closer. Might as well bring them up here. steps. There we go. Done and done. They all escaped. Well that's good. Vinecord Castle has been defended. Now we go back to Agilion and make sure we hold that. The enemy took Uxal, that's fine with me though. We're going to start moving through here and taking what we can, and if the Kurgic Canate want to take that off us, that's fine. As long as we eliminate the Rodox, because it's the only way we're going to progress. Anyway, thank you for watching. Join me next time.